The exact meaning of the Nephilim is still something we cannot fully agree upon in this day and age across all religions. But it is commonly understood that the Nephilim were giants, the sons of the Watchers, and God passed the judgment upon the request of Enoch that would eradicate them from this earth, well, mostly. How do we know this? Well, it is pretty well documented in ancient text. It was written so we could remember, not so we could turn history into a myth, which is what we seem to have done across millennia. One of the most important discoveries ever made was that of the Dead Sea Scrolls. And within these very ancient texts, it is written to remember that the Nephilim were destroyed on this planet and it details their demise. Wait till you hear this. The Dead Sea Scrolls have helped us remember a lost part of history, though to many people, the Book of the Giants found within these scrolls are a bit hard to swallow. The Book of Genesis, for example, undoubtedly refers to the Nephilim, but most of the information gathered today comes from the Book of Enoch. Enoch being Noah's great-grandfather, as you may well know. Enoch plays a critical part in history, and he is one of the most mysterious characters in the Book of Genesis. According to the Book of Genesis, Enoch lived for 265 years before God took Enoch, so he would not experience death. Though we are unclear of what actually happened to Enoch or what that means, it reads in Genesis, By faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. The stories about the Nephilim differ in the book of Genesis from that of the Dead Sea Scrolls. The book of Giants, part of the scrolls, though largely incomplete, suggests a different perspective about the Nephilim. The story goes that the giants who walked the earth at the same time as men and of gods, Anunnaki, learned that because of their extremely deplorable ways that they now faced imminent annihilation and they turned to Enoch to speak to God on their behalf. Now, remember it was Enoch who seeked God's judgment of the giants and who told Noah to build an ark to preserve life because the flood was coming to cleanse the earth of the Nephilim if they did not repent their ways. The scrolls tell of how the Nephilim were running amok on the earth and seeking absolute chaos. The giants began to experience nightmare dreams that God deliberately transmitted to the giants regarding an Armageddon and fear took over their thoughts. Sounds like psychological warfare, right? According to the text, the first of the Nephilim to have such prophetic dreams was Oya and Haya, who relayed the dreams to an assembly of giants. The giants were perplexed with the dreams, so they sent a giant named Ma'awe to speak with Enoch and convince him to speak with God on their behalf. Enoch interceded and gave tablets from God to the giants with the meaning of the dreams of God's decision of future judgment. According to the dreams, God's judgment, a huge tablet was submerged under the water, the ark. As the tablet surfaces, only three names are left. This is believed to symbolize the great flood and eventually destruction of all with the exception of Noah and his family after the flood. The three remaining names were the names of Noah's sons. Remains have in fact been found all over the planet of giants. With no apparent signs of how they died, this could very well be because the way in which they died was that of drowning during the great deluge. There are even incidences that are sparsely reported of giants still in existence even to this present day. The psychological placement of thoughts in their mind by God, leader of the Anunnaki, could have frightened them so severely that they simply remain hidden within the earth. Just a thought. The remaining fragments of the Book of Giants within the Dead Sea Scrolls are pretty much all over the place because they have not yet been fully restored but we get a great sense of ancient reality. These people had no reason to make these things up. They literally are explaining what actually occurred on this earth in the very distant past. We will leave links below to these particular restored fragments. The biblical stories are massively important. We are the ignorant ones today that choose mythology over ancient lost history. There are many more encounters with the Nephilim throughout historical text, from Abraham to the time of Moses and beyond, and even before that, they can't be all wrong. What do you guys think of the Nephilim described in the Book of Giants? Comments below, and thank you for watching.